Police say they were responding to a call for help inside an apartment in the Bedford Park section, but when they went inside, the suspect allegedly refused to drop the weapon. CBS 2's Alicia Reed is live at the scene with the breaking details tonight on this Alicia. Natalie, police say there's been a history of domestic violence in apartment 13G. Unfortunately, today, a call to 911 resulted in someone dead just days before Christmas. The NYPD calling this a chaotic, fast moving situation after that call to 911 around 11 o'clock this morning. Now, police say the man at the core of this attack told his family he was going to kill them, then himself. When police arrived at 2865 Creston Avenue and started walking towards the apartment. Authorities say a 19 year old family member who had called 911 ran outside screaming with a slice wound to the face. The two young officers, with just a little over two years on the job, had to make a quick decision once they got inside the small two bedroom apartment. Now, inside the small kitchen, authorities say the man was holding his 45 year old mother in a headlock with a large kiffin kitchen knife to her throat. Now, police say she was already injured and bleeding from the head. Chief of Patrol John Shell says officers gave numerous commands to drop the knife, but the 30-year-old did not listen. One officer discharged his firearm and the man was hit in the head. This all happened within a space of five feet. Now, police say the officer's training kicked in. They were able to save the mother's life. They rendered aid to her son before he was rushed to the hospital where he succumbed to his injuries. You know, every day in the city, our cops respond to calls for mostly disturbed people. And it's a tough job for our cops to handle these. And they always look for the best outcome for the family and for the mostly disturbed person. Today was a complete tragedy during this holiday season. Thank God our cops got here quickly and save this family from further harm. Now, responding officers were not hurt. Police say that man did live in the apartment. It isn't clear what triggered that assault. Live in the Bedford Park section of the Bronx, Alicia Reed, CBS 2 News. All right, Alicia, thank you. And we have much more on this breaking story tonight on CBS 2 News at 11 and on our website, cbsnewyork.com.